So the next thing I expected to do is to label a compartment, but before doing that, let's quickly draw a polyline around this column base. So ensure your layer is on polyline. So you click on polyline, click on it, draw it around quickly. Let's be fast about that. Define another layer. You see layer. Let's say text two. Text two like that. Let's change the color to red. Say okay, close. Let's activate it. So, once activated, we can come here just like the way I showed you earlier how to do right text. Click, drag, click on it. It comes up. Let's say once bedroom. Ensure you insert the scale, otherwise, you will look for it and will not see it because the scale is zero. So let me say I want it to be 200. So do that. So this is it. I can just copy, bring it, bring it off it, and add it everywhere. Okay, let me place it like this. Then copy this from here. I copied it. It's making it. Have it here. Mm -hmm. We have it here. Have it here. Also have it here and here and here. If you don't mind me, the whole thing is not bedroom. I'm still going to label them. It's just just trying to save time. So let's quickly do this. It should be a terrace. So we can just double click. Terrace. Have it like this. This should be the master's bedroom. So. We can enter to make it like this. We have this. We have this another bedroom. We can decide to position it. Okay. Pick it at the wrong position. Let's have it this way. Ha. So this is not a bedroom. It's supposed to be the dining area. So we can have it like this. The living room, not in the bedroom. Living room. So, what else are we not okay? Toilet. Let's copy this. The copy. Have it like this. So, but let's just do it like this. Let's put it out. So it's place it. So copy it to the other toilet also like this then this is supposed to be a lobby let's see change this to lobby so let's rotate Ideally, you are supposed to also label your door, the door types. So maybe let's quickly do that. We have only three door types, so we have let's let's copy this. So I will just modify it to save time. So this a door type. Um, let's ah, okay. Let's just use it like that. So place it. I think it's too big. It's too big. Let's see how we are going to reduce it. Then this, let's see how we are going to reduce this also. So let's reduce it. Let's see. D, D1. D1. Let's highlight it. And let's scale it back to, let's say, 200. First, then you have this, so we move it to the center. We have something like this. These are D1, so we can copy it to everywhere. Have the same type of door that is our 900 door. Sorry, okay, let's 
top to hold this on that bed. So it's not that thing to hold it. Okay, that's how you like this on that Just a copy and place it everywhere. We have D1. So I think we have another D1 here and D1 here. I think, okay. I think this also D1. So we can make this. Level this to to but definitely this is going to be a D let's say D2 take away it's also going to be a D2 that cycle is obviously too big so you can reduce yours so have D2 this is going to be D3 so you have that and I think this also D2. So we'll copy it to this point. Sorry. So have it like this. So copy. So I have D2 here. So the same thing applies to my window. I think I have just three types of window. Let's let's just copy one. Change D to W for my me lazy copy. This is supposed to be the kitchen. So let's quickly relabel that. It's supposed to be the kitchen, not another bedroom. The kitchen. Kitchen, yeah. That's what it should be. So let's move it back. Our windows, let's continue. So we say copy. Copy it here. This will just enable you to make your windows and touch your doors time permits us in the course of this tutorial we might look into that if not it's not a big deal something you can just do on your own so I have this I have this so which other window I think this so I think this will be a W3 W3 take away so copy So you observe that my my text and windows are been labeled. So the next thing to do is your dimension. Dimension. I, I still like to use my text, so I'll pick linear. I like to do center to center. So I have my eight. So instead of going back, I'll go back to dimension and click on continue. This, 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 this. Sorry about that. Okay, let's click on enter to continue. So we have this, we completed this part. So from there, the next thing is to pick on our linear again. Dimension it towards this side. Then we we'll click on dimension continue. This, this. This, this. 
all these things I've shown you in the basic course is just like a little bit advancement to that. So you've done that. Our drawing is shaping up, so click on our linear, maybe we'll get it from edge to edge so that we know the total perimeter. We have something like this. So we also pick it up. So we have from here. Am I right? I should be from here. Yeah, so I click like 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 like. Let's see. Maybe pick from here to here. To level it. So this is what it is. So that is how you do that. Um, I think we are gradually coming to the end. Okay. Let me see. What else? What else? What else do we need to do? Okay. guys i think that's all we need to do but before that you notice that what we saw there was a bit of some grasses growing here already actually i've imported another one and i've renamed it to a block um to a block that i want so you two can do that so i believe i've shown you how to do that so all you need to do is to copy it and show you off your orthogonal come down here and paste randomly don't just pay it anyhow randomly to make it look okay there are, there are different ways you can even draw the shape of this thing so that you just like just paste it like that in place another one i think we should be good to go with this so with that being done i think we've come to the uh, end of this edition so if you've not subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe so that you will be updated when the upcoming tutorials come, come out. Subscribe, share, like our videos, invite people to encourage us to make more interesting videos. In this next edition of the tutorial, we are going to be seeing how to make the roof plan for this particular structure. We intend to build it from scratch to its very end. So stay tuned, it's still Einstein AJ, cheers.